Здравствуйте! My name is Jana Abramova and I teach some courses in Russian as a foreign language in the framework of international master program called Second Language Teaching and Pedagogical Design in Digital Environments at the National University of Science and Technology, NISIS. Achievements of the Russian literature, music, ballet, theatre and visual arts are recognizable by the whole world. Let's list the most important names and discuss some representatives of the modern Russian culture. Regarding the classical Russian literature, it is not only a reflection of the aesthetic, moral and spiritual values, but also a deep psychological insight into the depiction of human characters. The works of Alexander Pushkin, Fyodor Dostoevsky, Leo Tolstoy, Anton Chekhov and Mikhail Bulgakov became true gems of the world literature. But how about contemporary Russian writers who are worth reading? Undoubtedly, we have many of them today as well. If you feel like reading something modern, find some books written by Viktor Pilevin, who works in the field of extraordinary postmodern fiction. Or you can read another fiction writer, Lyudmila Ulitskaya, whose works are unusually ascetic. Another good example would be Tatiana Tolstaya, who is also an essayist. I would also mention Vera Polaskova, a poet, singer and performer. If you are more into detective stories, Boris Akunin is your choice. Prose lovers should read some works of Mikhail Shishkin about love, death and resurrection dilemmas. And of course, reading all these authors in Russian makes the effect so much more powerful. What about music? The Russian classical music has given the world wonderful names, such as Pyotr Tchaikovsky, Mikhail Glinka, Sergei Rachmaninov, Igor Stravinsky, Sergei Prokofiev, Dmitry Shostakovich. Nowadays, when music offers so much of a choice, it's hard to recommend specific performers. However, I'd like to mention some very recognizable ones. Do you remember these two iconic names? Алла Пугачева and Борис Гребенщиков? Unbelievable, they are still on stage! Some wonderful singers have passed away, unfortunately, but we truly believe they are alive. There is even a slogan – Цой жив. Indeed, Виктор Цой was a rock icon and still is. His great fan, Zimfira, is a modern singer with the most distinctive voice and amazing lyrics. She has fans around the world. However, in case you are more into pop, check Dima Bilan out. You may remember this guy who won the Eurovision Music Contest in 2008. Another Eurovision contestant is Sergei Lazarev, who likes writing songs in English, by the way. All right, that's not everything Russians can be proud of. The Russian fine art was glorified by many artists. Among them there are Valentin Serov, Vasily Surikov, Viktor Vasnetsov, Alexander Ivanov, Kazimir Malevich, Mark Chagall. The paintings are always hopeful participants of international exhibitions. In the modern-day Russia there has been a boom in visual arts. For example, Irina Nakhova creates immersive experiences, which is pretty trendy. Maxim Kantor prefers exploring social themes, like problems of the global world. In case you are an ecologist, Anna Parkina is your choice. You can become an artist yourself, a digital artist, I would say. Our international master's program, Second Language Teaching and Pedagogical Design in Digital Environments, teaches you how to design learning materials and courses using the up-to-date technology. Develop your creativity and become a tech-savvy teacher of Russian as a foreign language, meeting the needs of the 21st century. Find more information here. Yes, you will be able to create similar videos for academic purposes, maybe even a movie. Oh, let's move on to the Russian films. Since the beginning, the Russian cinema has been associated with historical processes taking place in the country and in the world as a whole. Many films received world awards, such as the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Award and the Cannes International Film Festival Awards. Among the classical films, one can name Eisenstein's The Battleship Potemkin, Alexandrova's Jolly Fellows, 
Тарковский Соларис, Меньшовс Moscow Doesn't Believe in Tears, Михалковс Burned by the Sun, Лунгинс Island and Kota's Breast Fortress. If you ask me about contemporary movies, I would list several must-watch films like The Baba of Siberia, The Brother, The Return, The Night Watch, Hard to be a God and others. They are all different from art house to mainstream blockbusters. Finally, I have to mention theater and ballet. All over the world, the Russian drama and ballet schools enjoy well-deserved authority and recognition. Many theater and movie actors work according to the Stanislavsky system. There are world-famous theaters in Russia, such as the Mariinsky Theater, the Bolshoi and Mali theaters. The Russian ballet was glorified by Ulyanova, Presetskaya, Nureyev, Barishnikov. Sergei Diaghilev's Russian seasons and then the Russian ballet invariably gathered full halls and were one of the biggest events in the world of culture at the beginning of the 20th century. Such names as Shalyapin, Lemyshev, Vishnevskaya are inscribed in the world history of the opera. If you are in Moscow, willing to see some place, go to the Vachtangov Theater to enjoy Uncle Vanya, or to the Sovremenik Theater to see Woe from Wheat. Also, the minor in the Mali Theater will be a nice idea. That's it for today. I bet you will adore the modern Russia no less than the classical one. Follow us on social media, subscribe, like, leave a comment below. 